Manchester United have finally sacked their coach. Ole is gone. I feel like it's a season too late, but they've done it. And for once, they've actually made a pretty good appointment in Ralph Rangnick. They've not only signed him as an interim manager for the rest of the season, but more of a director of football kind of role after that as well. So I think it's amazing for them. We got away with one, to be fair. Ralph Rangnick is basically regarded as the father of German football in a way, with inventing the Gegen pressing method, which you guys know, Jurgen Klopp is famous for using it. Liverpool and dominating so if he brings a bit of that to Manchester United oh boy I think things are about to shift in the Premier League I think German coaches now are genuinely the best in the world like you've got Jurgen Klopp, Thomas Tuchel, Nagelsmann you've got just so many good coaches that are German and maybe it's Ralf Rangnick's tactics that's you know brought about this change anyway so well new coach for Man United we're gonna be doing the 10 season takeover challenge with them to try and win as many trophies but since a new German coach is coming. There's going to be a bit of a twist. Here are the rules of today's 10 season challenge. And of course, there is a bit of a twist. It's 10 seasons to glory, of course. Three transfers per season. We're sticking with that. we got to simulate every single game that we play. The objective is to ultimately win as much as we can. Three German players in the 11. So, yep, we're trying to create that pressing environment. And for that, having three Germans in the first 11, it's going to be tricky trying to implement that but that's exactly what we're gonna do to spice up today's challenge and don't worry guys we're keeping track of all the stats of the course of these 10 seasons i want you guys to drop in a prediction who do you think's gonna end up being top scorer it's a bit tricky making that prediction now because we might end up signing a new striker or something once ronaldo retires but hey any prediction let me know top assistant as well let me know in the comments trophy cabinet yep we're keeping track of every major trophy we win so that should certainly be fun. You guys absolutely enjoyed this 10 season takeover series and I need to see the support then. 8,000 likes on this video and next week we'll bring about another 10 seasons challenge but in a bit of a different way. So if you guys want to see that, drop a like in the video, subscribe if you're around here and let's begin the grind with Man United. All right guys, season one begins with Man United. So first of all, tactics. I do want to keep the same formation because I think it's it's very good and fits the German way. But tactics-wise, we're going to really be playing a lot of pressure-based football. Press after possession loss, high depth. We're going to have a lot of, you know, direct way to play, I guess. Uh, balanced and direct passing, I think, makes sense. This is kind of how we're going to be playing. And hopefully, over the course of the 10 seasons, we'll have players to suit this style of football. If you're wondering, how do you implement Ronaldo in this kind of a system? Well, I'm going to still keep him. I think the others will have to do the work for him because, let's be real, a 91-rated Cristiano Ronaldo is going to guarantee you 25 goals a season minimum. I don't want to say no to that, guys. So we'll keep him for the first couple of seasons and see what we can achieve. The first team is actually insane, but the tricky part is we need to implement three German players already in this starting 11. And that's what's going to make it interesting, boys. I think I already know a CDM that's German is something we'll look for 100%. Maybe a midfielder, actually. Center back as well. I guess the first season's just going to be about getting those German players because there's literally no one here. That's the challenge. This is a bit of a takeover with a twist so keep that in mind i've got an idea guys leon goretzka it would be just amazing like i know he is super expensive but i'll just show you guys the budget we're working with remember we can only make three changes in the first season 163 million we can certainly afford goretzka but i've got an idea not paying his release clause of course i'm thinking to get that german player in we swap in paul pogba anyways rumors about him leaving paul pogba and we'll chuck in about 20, 30 million or 25 million and just see what Bayern Munich say. I think this is a great swap deal. It works in our favor because Goretzka is younger and better. They want Pogba in 98 million. That's how much they value Leon Goretzka. It's crazy. But you know what? With Pogba's contract expiring, I can see why they're coming in with such absurd valuations. We'll counter with 45 million. They're willing to go down to 68, which is certainly nice. We'll reduce that a little bit to maybe 54, 54 million plus Pogba for Leon Goretzka. Oh, they do want that 68 million. Let's let's counter with 60 million. 60 million plus Paul Pogba for Leon Goretzka. There you go. That works. Absolutely brilliant. There you go, guys. First transfer of this save. Leon Goretzka added into our midfield. 
absolutely love it guys absolutely do that's the german one german sorted also a bit of a change to the rule we're gonna make it three germans in the squad because doing it in the first level is a bit weird because the game automatically anyway decides who's gonna play since we are simming so three germans in the squad i think is just smarter one check leon goretzka another player we've just signed is jamal musiala i think that's a top class signing um, I just noticed that we've got Sancho and Greenwood for the right side, but we've only got Rashford on the left. Another German. Job done for the objective. He'll be back up to Marcus Rashford. Perfect, I guess. Also, a quick side note. This Man United team does have a lot of good youngsters like Elanga, Diallo and all. The plan is to probably loan them for the first three, four seasons. And then once they get to a good overall, we get them back. Remember, this is a 10 seasons project. Finally, guys, we could be selling Fred. Sevilla have come in with a 16.8 million offer, straight away accepting it. We've actually sold the likes of Cavani, Bailey, and a fair few players here and there. I think that's smart to do that. Guys, after selling a fair few players and all, 140 million. I reckon we might have money to sign a world-class CDM. That's German. A certain German comes into mind for that. Maybe another signing from Bayern Munich. In fact, both our signings were from there, so maybe we won't do that. But let, let me just see what can be done. I'm going to try something different. You know what? Sometimes you don't need superstars every time for every position. I think Emre Chan will do an incredible job as a CDM. Hopefully, we'll be able to convert him to a CDM. That, that makes this very important. But I think he's a big upgrade over McDominay. I think I'm going to do this. I think Emre Ray Chan is going to be the third German of the squad. I think every team needs some sort of a fighter in their team. And I feel like Emre Chan is just that player. He's not going to be the one getting all the headlines. But he'll do the job. Press around like a maniac. Win the ball back. And that's what we need from him. 40 million for him. That's why. And this is going to be our third and final signing of the season. There you go, guys. Emre Chan has been signed. The real question is... If we can convert him to a CDM or not, I reckon we should be able to do that. It'll take only a couple of weeks. That's perfect. And I reckon he's going to get a big boost in his overall when we do exactly that. Interestingly, guys, I've realized if we keep Dean Henderson at the club, I reckon his overall is going to not grow much because De Gea is going to be playing most of the games. De Gea is 30. Loaning Dean Henderson out for a couple of seasons, that's what I'm going to do. So when he comes back, he'll be fairly high rated and can take the job from David De Gea. I feel that's very smart, so we'll loan him out. And I think we've got Tom Heaton to be back up for De Gea for this season. I think it's the perfect way to run things. Can convert Chan to a CDM now, and look at that. Up to an 84 overall. I know he is a bit old, he is 27, but he'll give us four to five great seasons, and that's enough for now. All right, guys, we're done with our signings for the first season. We stick stuck to the limit, just three replacements have come in. Goretzka, Chan, Musiala, who's right here. That's all what we've done. We've managed to loan out a lot of the young still struggled to sell the likes of Fred and all which was a bit frustrating but yeah this is what our team's gonna look like for this season and let's see what we can achieve boys let's see I genuinely think with this side the quality we've got we should be winning the Premier League and maybe even competing for the Champions League at least in terms of FIFA let's see whether adding a bit of German mentality to that midfield helps us or not what on earth just happened we failed to not only just win the Premier League but we finished fifth what what? We're outside the top four. We're heading into Europa League territory. How? Oh my god. Level with City on points, but they got the better goal difference. How did we not even get top four? The German mentality, the pressing and everything. Oh my god. That, that is horrendous. Did we end up winning at least any of the cups? Nah, don't tell me. We lost the Carabao Cup final to Liverpool. So are we end up gonna end up trophyless? What do we do in the Champions League? Wait, 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 what? How did we end up in the final? And it's City and Man United, fourth and fifth in the Premier League are in the Champions League final. How wild is that? We knocked out PSG, we knocked out Ajax, and we knocked out Atletico on pens. This is mad. This is genuinely mad. We're in a Champions League final. I'm pretty sure, guys, that it's for the first time in one of these takeover videos that we could win the Champions League in the first season. Let's do it now. We've got the team to make it happen. Can we do it on the pitch? Let's go. Quick simming this one against City. And we've done it. We've just won the Champions League in season one of this takeover. 
How many can we win? Hopefully, 10 out of 10. We'll see. But yeah, Champions League, the first one has been secured. And that puts us back in this competition for next season. That's brilliant, dude. Let's go. Stats-wise, Cristiano Ronaldo, I told you, he's only gone down by one rating. How long can we prolong Ronaldo's career in this takeover? That's something I want to look at. 29 goals for him. Rashford with 26. That's pretty close. I reckon Rashford's got a good chance of winning top scorer here for us. Bruno Fernandes did a pretty incredible job. 19 goals as well. Sancho, 17 assists. Wow. Okay, he's going to end up winning top assisted at this rate. But yeah, incredible stats. Cristiano Ronaldo missed the Champions League. Fires us to a Champions League trophy and ends up as our top scorer for season one. Sancho top assister too. And it's genuinely mad that we've won the Champions League in the first season itself. Now I'm wondering how many trophies can we actually win? Let's keep going. Since we just won the Champions League, I don't think there is a reason to make that many changes. But, you know, in the Premier League to win titles, you got to work on your defense. And that's why one change I'm going to make this season is getting rid of Harry Maguire and replacing him with a world-class centre-back. Since we've got the three Germans in the starting eleven, we can sign anyone we want. And that's exactly what we're going to do, especially with... Yeah, money isn't going to be a problem. The Glazers have given us endless pit of cash, you could say. So, let's use it. I'm pretty sure there were rumours about... Pau Torres joining Manchester United. Pau Torres was involved in Villarreal winning the Europa League over Man United, so they've got a bit of history there. I think it's a great transfer, and we're going to make it happen. I'm going to pay about 60 million for Pau Torres just to see what they say, and that works. Brilliant. Unai Emery is willing to work with 60, will delegate the contract to. And that should sort out another very, very solid transfer for us. In other news, Real Madrid want Cristiano Ronaldo back. As, nah, I want to keep using him, especially after the season he had last time around. He's still doing the job, maybe not as much in the Prem, but in the Champions League, he certainly did it. So we'll keep him for another season and just see how much he keeps declining. Anyways, Pau Torres, signing complete. Honestly, guys, just look at our team, the overalls. We certainly need to be winning the Premier League now. Like, the bench is even insane. Let's do this, boys. Let's freaking do this. I'm gonna sim on till the end, and I wanna win trophies. Bruh. I don't get this, guys. How on earth are we not winning the Premier League with the team we've built? Like, it just makes no sense. Do we need to get rid of Cristiano Ronaldo? I don't know, man. What's the problem here? Like, we even improved our back line with Pau Torres. Maybe it's the goalkeeper. I'm not sure, but this is just... Oh, it's... Yeah. 76 points. We do get Champions League football that way, but disappointing. No FA Cup. We won the Carabao Cup, so at least we won something. Champions League? No. City or Real Madrid. We got to the semis, but Real Madrid got the better of us. Tough season, boys. This was a tough season. We didn't end up winning the UEFA Super Cup, though, so that's nice. Bruno Fernandes with a 29-goal season. How has that happened? I think I can see Cristiano's decline now. I think I can see, and maybe next season it's time to replace him. Marcus Rashford with a solid season, 24. But again, Bruno was huge. Sancho? Ah, oh, he, he, he didn't do all that much this season compared to the last one. Goretzka's doing well. Well, so yeah, those are the stats. Ronaldo is literally level with Marcus Rashford right now for goals. So, yep, I decided to put Ronaldo in there because he's probably not going to be here next season. So, yeah, Ronaldo top gold scorer after a couple of seasons with 50. Bruno Fernandes with 23 assists is now our top assister. Seriously can't believe that we've only added a Carabao Cup and a UEFA Super Cup this season. It's got to be better next season, man. we got to start adding the big boy trophies. Season 3 and we've got a lot to do. I just realized Cristiano Ronaldo has just gone ahead and retired himself. Yup, he's gone. Ronaldo is retired now in this takeover and it's our job to replace him. I'm thinking I'll make Greenwood a striker. I think that's smart and I think that'll work. We're, we've already put a development plan on him. I thought about signing a superstar striker but when we've got Mason Greenwood at the club, why look elsewhere? Let's convert him to a striker and use him there. Apart from that, De Gea has decided to leave the club. Look at this, guys. He's joining Chelsea when the transfer window opens, so we need to bring in a goalkeeper because I'm not too convinced we can win the title with an 83-rated Dean Henderson, so we're going to figure that out. Even Dalot is leaving us. He's joining PSG as soon as the window opens. Good thing is we've got this young kid, Ethan Led, who I think I'll use as my backup right back, but there is a fair few changes happening in the squad for Season 3, and maybe it's needed after having a terrible last season. Once again, budget isn't an issue. Like, the money we're going to 
to be working with in this save. It's just unlimited, you could say. My plan is get a world-class keeper now. Apart from that, I don't see what we need to do in terms of the first 11. So let's figure it out. Look at that, guys. De Gea is gone. Diogo Dalot is gone. We're in a tricky situation. No Ronaldo this season. This is where this takeover, I think, starts getting interesting. Remember, guys, the pressure is on us because... Horrid last season. If we don't perform this season, I think we're going to get sacked. So we got to win the Premier League or the Champions League. One of them. About that keeper position, I'm thinking of adding another German. I know he's 31, but 91 rated from Barcelona. I think if we have Marc-Andre de Stegen in goal, we're going to win trophies because of that overall. Simply because of that. Plus, he's German. Ralph Ragnick and all that. I think for a few seasons, this is a good solution to our goalkeeper problem. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. There you have it, guys. We've signed a world-class keeper. Marc-Andre de Stegen. I'm not his biggest fan, but I think we need someone with that overall. And that instantly will win us trophies, I hope. Offer from Spurs for Luke Shaw. And you know what? I'm going to accept this and bring in a replacement for Luke Shaw. Reason being... If you know, Ralph Ragnick in one like previous interview actually said Luke Shaw isn't good enough to be a Man United player. That's his opinion. So if he's going to be the coach, he's probably not going to prefer Luke Shaw in that sense. But of course, he said that in the past. But regardless, I'm going to accept the offer. Let Luke Shaw leave. I know we've got Brandon Williams as backup now. We've sold Teles. But I think I'm going to bring in a ridiculously good left back. We, How many transfers we've made so far? Just this Stegen. We can make one more, surely. I kind of want Alfonso Davies, boys. He's the same overall, but he's only 22. Let's do this. I want Alfonso Davies, guys. Let's do this. He's here, guys. Alfonso Davies is here. We've signed Fonzie. He's going to be amazing for us. As I said, we're not going to be making Mason Green with a striker. Let's convert his position. How did he not grow in his overall? That's a surprise. Anyways, we'll put him on a target man plan. That should boost his overall fairly quickly. But I'm surprised he didn't grow in his overall as soon as we converted him to a, to a striker. But oh well. Anyways, guys, season three has certainly been interesting in terms of the signings. Alfonso Davies is here. Mason Greenwood's now our striker. De Stegen and goal. Ronaldo's gone. Musiala and Diallo are now going to be on the bench. That's great to see. Youngsters getting involved. Laird as well. Brandon Williams. So the squad has slightly changed. And I'm hoping for a change in fortunes in terms of trophies. Let's him until the end and see this season. We can win the Prem or even the Champions League. Can someone please tell me what do we got to do to win the Premier League now? Like what? With that team, how do we end up finishing second? My God. I just... Oh, we were winning Premier League titles with Norwich last week. But with Man United, I just can't do it. I really can't. F FA Cup goes to Everton. Carabao Cup goes to Chelsea. We literally won nothing this season. We weren't even in the UEFA Super Cup. Champions League. Liverpool buying. We got knocked out by Liverpool in the semis. I don't know what's wrong with this team. You look at our team and you think, it's so good. Like, it's insane. How is this team not doing a lot better? I have just got no freaking idea. Really don't. We have squad depth as well. I just don't know what's up. I really don't. Bruno Fernandes top scorer again. 26 goals. What a season for him. Rashford did well with 19. Greenwood did okay-ish with 19. We really miss Ronaldo, I guess. Sancho back on the assist charts. Great to see. But yeah. This is disappointing. Stats-wise, Bruno Fernandes now our top scorer with 75. I expected Rashford to get this, but Bruno has just been in a madness level of form. Also, Jadon Sancho, top assister with 38 now. Trophies-wise, we're at the same level. Just the three trophies in three seasons. With Man United, that is genuinely embarrassing. We will get sacked at this rate, and if we get sacked, that's it. That's the 10 seasons takeover failed. Season 4. And after not winning the Premier League at all, this is what we get from the board. They don't want to sack us. They're like, oh, we want to try and improve our brand in foreign markets. It's typical Glazers, man. Even in the game. Ugh. Regardless, this is our squad. I think what I need to do this season is just get another insane centre-back. Because the rest of the team is just so good. I don't know what's wrong with, with us not winning the Prem and all that. So, yep. Let's, let's maybe do a swap deal with Maguire involved. Or Lindelof or something like that. And hopefully... Hopefully that works. Upamecano seems like the bet. Like he's 86 rated. 
feels a lot lower than what maybe Pau Torres already is. Pau Torres is 86 too. I'm not sure if that's smart. Maybe then signing an older player, someone like Mark Ineos. What would his age be right now? Mark Ineos. Is he not even in the game? He is. He's 30. He's 91 rated. You know what? Let's sign Mark Ineos and use him for a few seasons. He'll give us at least two to three good seasons. And that might be what we need to win trophies. We've got such a young team anyways. Let's bring in a bit of experience. We've signed Mark Ineos from PSG. I swear if now the team isn't good enough to win the Premier League. I don't know what needs to be done. My good lord, is this team insane? Like, how on earth haven't we not won the Premier League yet? Let's sim until the end. That's the only signing I want to make. And let's bring a Premier League or a Champions League title home. Enough is enough. Yes, guys, we've finally done it. We've won the Premier League once. So oh, it's taken us four seasons to win a Premier League with Man United. That is just embarrassing. But with a couple of points advantage over Arsenal, we've done it. Let's go. That, that feels like more of a relief. FA Cup? Now we didn't win that. Carabao Cup, maybe? Nope. We lost that to City in the final. Champions League, we got knocked out in the semis to Bayern Munich. No, oh, that's frustrating. But still, I'm actually happy. We got that Premier League at least. Mason Greenwood, wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a season. What a season for Mason. 37 goals this season. Marcus Rashford dropping in 29. Bruno with 16. Sancho did well. Rashford with 25 assists too. That is ridiculous. Stats-wise, what a season. Rashford has now become our top scorer and top assister. He's so close to 100 goals. He's 94 rated, by the way. The fact that he's our top assister too just is insane. Hopefully, he'll keep this up. And I think I, my bet's now on Rashford for ending up with our top scorer award. Trophies-wise, finally adding the big boy trophies to the list. The Premier League is here, but four seasons. This is still a little underwhelming. Let's see what we can do in season five. At this moment, guys, I really don't see the need to change the team at all. We've just won the Premier League. The overalls are crazy. It's just bad luck that we haven't won the Champions League yet again. So I'm just going to stick with this team for season five. No reason to change anything around. No overalls are dipping. So let's stick with this sim until the end and see what we can achieve. Okay, guys, for the first time in this takeover challenge, I've been sacked. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Unlimited money and a god squad and we get sacked. I, I, I seriously want to see why this has happened. Well, this takeover didn't even last the 10 seasons. Oh my god, how have I been sacked with Manchester United of all teams? Oh my god, is that embarrassing? You know what? We'll take the Southampton job for now just to see. Just to see what's up. Like, I want to know what happened in the Champions League. I really want to know what freaking happened in the Champions League, guys. Because, good lord. Where's Man United in the league? No freaking way. They sacked us when we were first in the league. That makes no sense. How do you sack us when we're about to win the Premier League title? FA Cup. Okay, we got knocked out. Okay, we didn't win the Carabao Cup. Champions League. I think this is where problems happen. So we got knocked out by PSG. What are we supposed to do, man? PSG are no joke. Good Lord. How do we get sacked? That is just so frustrating. Honestly. 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 Well, so that's where the 10 seasons takeover ends. We only lasted five seasons can't believe this man this is the first time in this 10 seasons challenge this has ever happened crazy man crazy well um the ralph ragnick challenge with the three german players didn't work i guess for us i'm surprised that we got sacked but sometimes it happens and yeah it is what it is i guess we end off with rashford being top scorer 98 we'll just use last season stats 56 assists and trophies wise We've got, of course, the four trophies. That's all we won in five seasons. You know what? I can see why we've been sacked. I can kind of now see why we've been sacked. But yeah, we're, we're ending it off as Southampton manager. Yep, that's a bit sad. Nowhere near good enough for this club. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Didn't happen. The 10 seasons didn't happen. But we at least tried to make it happen. But oh well. I'm still shocked that we got sacked. It is what it is, I guess. Drop like if you enjoyed. Next week, hopefully we can complete the 10 seasons. <sighs> I'm still, yeah in disbelief. Drop a like, subscribe, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.